This is the Spyro Dash F560 FPV Contact Hexacopter Frame. It's a unique product on the market right now, designed specifically for both aerial photography and long range FPV self builds. So, this is for those of you who want to build your own hex setup for AP and FPV. Right, so, let's take a look close up at the frame just to see what we've got here. You got a beautiful, glossy finish. This is the uh, canopy. There's so landing gears, this is the underneath. I'm running a, a pulse battery. Right. Okay, so now you've seen uh, a little bit of the frame nice and up close. Let's talk about the construction. Uh, the construction of this frame is basically carbon fiber core composite, meaning that it's significantly stronger and cleaner than most others that you'll find out there, you know, that are made of carbon fiber. It's actually quite similar to carbon fiber composite hockey sticks and snowboards. So this is a high quality uh, built carbon fiber frame. Um, but the greatest thing about this frame is not just how it looks, it's not just the build quality, it's the weight. The entire frame weighs only 274 grams. Yeah, 200 74 grams. To put into comparison, a DJI F550 flame wheel frame weighs 478 grams. This is a huge deal because you're going to have better handling and much longer flight times due to the reduced weight. This was engineered specifically to be lightweight and it delivers. Uh, Again, there's really nothing on the market I found that matches that kind of spec for a self build like this. This frame directly fits DJI E300, E305, and E310. It supports F450, F550 landing gear, as well as the Zenmuse uh, GoPro gimbals, as you can see here. But this is not limited to those setups. This is actually the, the NASA MV2 setup here. But uh, again, it's not limited to that. Uh, it can handle all kinds of motors, adapters, extensions, etc. And the frame can also easily be drilled to add whatever custom uh, needs that you might have. There's a vertical gimbal extension that's sold separately. And going back to the landing gear for a minute, it does support the F450 and F550 landing gear, but with this frame, you can add your own retractable gear. I'm gonna demonstrate the retractable gear right here. It's one of the coolest features in my build. All right, and now I'm gonna bring the gear down. I'm just gonna show that again from the side. Awesome, absolutely awesome. So yes, with this frame, you can add retractable landing gear like that very easily. All right, so now that we've taken a look at the frame, we've taken a look at some of the options that you can have for it, the landing gear, the gimbal. Um, let's talk more about the canopy. The canopy is made of 3D matrix Carbon fiber, carbon fiber composite, again, finished off with the gloss. It weighs 29 grams. While it's not necessary, it's quite nice to have to protect all the electronics inside from dust, uh, wind, and moisture, especially depending on your flying conditions. I've made some videos in the snow, and obviously you might want to have something like that, protecting all your electronics from the weather. Uh, I like to call this the protector of the brain because inside here is quite a network of wires. I've got my video transmitter in here. I've got my OSD. I've got everything that makes this thing work all inside here. So even though the canopy isn't necessary, I would definitely highly recommend picking it up. 
Um, it also provides a strong shield for the video transmitter. It shields it from uh, outside RF noise. So that's again, that's something to consider. Get the frame and the canopy. Again, you're talking with the frame and the canopy together, 300 grams of weight. Light, extremely, extremely lightweight we're talking here. Um, so to recap, if you're looking to build a hexacopter or, you know, F-550 setup to have the power and flexibility that you achieve when you do it yourself, you should definitely consider this frame. Uh, 274 grams, again, that's incredibly lightweight. Links are all in the description below. If you have any questions about the build, I'd be happy to answer them. And, uh, that's about it.